Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 509. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 508 to 513. We got an exciting video here. Here is a table set up as a uh, Excel table feature, and over here we want to extract records from that other table. So I select a name here. No problem except for we want to be able to just come over to this table and dynamically say have an extra column I'm just going to put some values in here and be able to add new records I'm just going to put some f f false data in there so what we've done dynamic this is a table but now we've added a new row and a column a new field and a new record I want to be able to come over to here and have that new name uh, in the new record show up here in data validation I want the new field up here to show up here and I want the formula to automatically populate the new information so it's totally dynamic it's kinda of like a, um, a database so in uh, video number 508 we saw how to do it with the offset function in 509 we're gonna see the amazing table feature which I think is easier however you do have to know how to use table nomenclature so we'll see how to do that alright here's our table here is our uh, data extract area so the first thing is we convert this to a table why do we convert it to a table because the table feature will automatically have dynamic ranges everywhere the table will be dynamic for VLOOKUP if we add new fields that will be dynamic and if, as we add new records it will be dynamic alright so I'm gonna click in one cell in the data set and I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut control T and earlier in uh, 2003 you used control L control T my data has uh, headers click OK now the exciting thing is table nomenclature just to show you table nomenclature let's say we want to uh, count how many names there are. We'd never do it uh, down in this range because as we add new records it pushes everything down over here but um, I'm gonna just for a moment show you equals counter okay right so we have a function and what's the name of this table well by default when we uh, created that uh, table it I already did have one table for the solution over here but table 2 now I don't want to use that name I want to click escape I want to click here and table tools up here design you can come over here and let's name us let's name it something good uh, employee uh, data or something like that whatever this is click enter now when I come down here and say equals counter tab and I'm gonna type employee I can already see it here those are functions those are tables there's another icon for a uh, named range I'm gonna double click this you gotta put that in and the trick to table nomenclature is you type a square bracket as soon as you type a square bracket boom we get a list of oh the fields those are the fields there all the data the actual data that's the inside of the ta table we'll use that for VLOOKUP and the headers we're gonna use that dynamic range for the headers for match totally amazing so let's just count names right and you gotta put a closed square bracket as soon as you put that you see it's blue and you can see that range right there is highlighted and it is dynamic alright uh, so there we go I'm gonna or maybe I'll put that over here now let's come over here we're gonna run into uh, one problem and we're gonna have to uh, come up with a clever solution alright we're gonna use this dynamic range for data validation we're gonna use the table for VLOOKUP and the field names for match I'm gonna come over here first thing is let's try to do data validation alt D L and then I'm gonna hit tab L tab and I'm gonna type out actually let me uh, do it right here equals employee square bracket and uh, we want the names right so we're gonna have to use this uh, the data validation will let you uh, won't show us that so I'm gonna copy that from there that's just a cheating way to get it right alt D L tab L tab equals and control V alright you'd think sorry that was off the screen equals and then I pasted that you would think that they would 
you know, program this to work, but no, it's not going to work. There is an error. Right? So, if you have table nomenclature and you want to use it, you have to do, you have to put the table name. This is just for data validation. For formulas, you just, as we saw, we just put the table nomenclature. You put it in quotes, and then you got to put that quotes inside of indirect. I hope I spelled that right. Indirect. I'm a terrible typer. Ooh. Um, right there I need an open parentheses and then close parentheses. Oh, I got, I got my fingers crossed. Click OK. So if I Alt DL, you can, you can see that it, it's working there. Click OK. And now we have our uh, list of names. Now that'll become dynamic there in just a moment. Now the next we have our um, data validation. Now we need to have our label show up. Remember when we added a new column we need it to show up here. So just a quick easy way to get the labels is I'm going to highlight the whole range all the way to the end. You can make that as big as you want and in the active cell right there I'm going to say equals if. Then I'm going to use a sheet reference. I'm going to click on 509. Click in that cell right there. You can see the formula starting to merge. If that is equal to double quotes two double quotes, that means blank. If that's true, comma, then what do I want? So the logical test is, is that cell equal to blank, comma, the value if true is double quotes, because we want to show blank if it's if there is no field name over here, like right example right here, comma, otherwise if it's not blank, then we just want the cell. Close parentheses, control enter. All right, so you can see there's a formula there and it's showing a blank because there's no field name in the respective uh, location over here. Now let's do our VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. I'm going to click on this name right here and I'm going to hit the F4 one, two, three times to lock the column because as we move over here we need that locked, comma, and now the table array. We're going to, um, instead of you know, highlighting the range or whatever, we're going to use table nomenclature. EM tab and then square brackets. Uh, we want the data, so we're going to click right there and then close square bracket. As soon as we do that, it doesn't show blue over here because we're on a different sheet and this is like a sheet reference. Comma, now the column index, we're going to use match. So right now this DOB is the second column over in that table and that's what we want for VLOOKUP. When we get to, over to phone, we want to use match to say, hey, that's the third L, um, label over there from the other table. So we're going to use match. Match delivers the ordinal position or relative position of an item in a list. Comma, and the lookup is going to be EM tab, square brackets. And now this time, we're going to use headers, right? You think when you when I first saw this table nomenclature, I was like, when am I going to ever use the headers? But of course, for match, square bra close square bracket. All right. So now that's a, a dynamic range. As soon as we create new headers, it will um, expand that range. Comma. This is an exact match because we're looking up words and the words are not sorted. So close parentheses on the match, and then that's our column index right here, right? comma and then the the next argument is uh, lookup range and we want f exact match so I'm going to type a zero not false close parentheses now control enter that formula will work control one to fo no let's not format it let's copy it over first come back over here double click to adjust the columns click here control one to format it as a date all right, now what do we do about those uh, NAs? Highlight the range and F2. I'm going to highlight this, copy. In 2003, an earlier version, you'd say if and then is error. I want uh, this one right here for all errors. You could use in, is NA too. A uh, close parenthesis. That is the logical test. It's just saying, is it an error? comma the value if true if it's an arrow is double quotes comma the value if false control V I want my whole V lookup with all that table nomenclature close parentheses control enter now I'm going to come down here actually I'll go up to home 
copy that uh, paintbrush and put that right there. Now I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to do if error. This is a new 2007 function. Totally amazing. Avoids us having to put VLOOKUP twice. I control V. I didn't copy it, so I'm going to go all the way to that green one. Control C. I'm going to come down here, equals if error, if error, control V, and then now, comma, comma, and the if the value error is simply a double quote. So if the V lookup comes out to be an error, then we're going to put a double quote. Now I close parentheses, control enter, and I'm going to copy this over. And I'm going to point to the uh, smart tag here and say fill without formatting. Now let's go ahead and test this and see if it works. We're going to come back over here. I'm going to put some extra column like um, whatever it is, sales. And watch this. Because it's a table, I type something in the column next to it. It automatically uh, fills that in. I'm just going to put some d dummy data in there just to test it. And then I'm just going to um, tab name 9, and I'll just put some dummy data in here too, just to see if it can work. Come over here. Did this show up here? It sure did, just like magic. So that if brought the label over, the V lookup, I like this one better, 2007, uh, automatically uh, brought over the data, and does our data validation update? Yes, it does. All right, so uh, that's using a table nomenclature. We have a completely dynamic table to use VLOOKUP match uh, to extract records, kind of like a, a three-dimensional database. All right, we'll see you next trick.